Hi guys, it's Mel the Terrain Tutor here again and this time I'm coming to you with another quick tip and this one's on cake bases for easy, easy basing. Yeah, I know. Right, dead simple. Yeah, this stuff is available all over the place. You will find it in supermarkets. They go for about a pound, pound fifty. And all it is, is it's, it's sort of low density fiber board covered with tin foil or well, a metallic foil. Yeah, all glued down. What they do is they use it to put cakes on. Yeah, so when you get a wedding cake brought out, they're normally on these. Now these are really good for the amateur scenery builder. Yeah, because what it means is, yeah, they make good bases. They're easy to work with, and I'll show you how easy they are to work with and what sort of results you can get with them quite shortly. Yeah, but they're easily available and you don't have to buy masses of stock. Yeah, you don't have to buy a big sheet of MDF or have proper cutting tools. You can use simple tools on them. Yeah, you can work on the kitchen table and as long as you clean up afterwards, everything is good. So, first things first, before I get into this, big safety advice, yeah? You're gonna need one of these. I mean, genuinely, yeah? I used to work, well, I used to live in a village, yeah? And there was a factory there that made this stuff and every year they got sued, yeah? By the environmental agency for polluting the environment and letting this stuff out. Yeah, and they paid it as a watch because it's just a business expense, but it isn't good for your lungs. It really isn't. So for the majority of the tutorial when I'm doing watch colic and I'm doing my cutting and stuff, you will see me be wearing this, yeah? Look after your lungs. Other bit of safety advice, obviously we're gonna be cutting it, we're gonna be using knives. Don't chop your fingers off, be careful, cut away from yourself, okay? So let's get into it. And what I'm gonna do is quickly turn the camera down yeah, so you can actually see what I'm doing. So here we go. See you in a minute. Okay, that's a nice good picture. Yeah. Actually, just a little bit more. Sorry, guys. Okay. Okay, bases. Right. Always come in a polystyrene foam. Cut, sorry, a plastic covering. Yeah, they're putting food on for obvious reasons. So if you strip this off, yeah, what you're left with is this and it's got normal paper on the back yeah and this sort of holds the foil down so if you peel this back and you don't need to be gentle with this yeah see that underneath that's what we're after that's the fiber board that we want so what I'm going to do quickly now is watch it strip this off for you so you can see what we're working with the pretty video is probably going to go pretty quick now Right guys, I skipped ahead because I figured you didn't come here to see me peeling paper off or cut fibre board. So this is the end result, yeah? Don't worry about getting all the paper off, okay? This is what's the remnants of what was underneath and if you flip it over that side, no, that was underneath, that's on top, yeah? As long as you get all the silver bits off, that's the important bit. If there's bits of what you call it, paper left on, just don't worry about it, they will clean up, yeah? It's not a problem, yeah? so. Don't try and get it all off, you'll be wasting your time. So now we've got it off, we can actually have a look at it. And it is, yeah, if I bring that close to the camera, yeah, low density. I mean, I can literally break it off with my fingers. And you, I'm not sure if you can, but there are the fibers there, okay? Now what we're gonna do with it, yeah, is we're gonna shape it into the base of a terrain feature, okay? Now, a couple of tools I'm gonna need. Coping saw, okay? You don't need one of these. You can do it all with a trusty steak knife. Yeah, but a coping saw does make the job easier. Yeah, and I say coping saw because I find what you call it, uh, hacksaws are a little bit struggly with this, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, coping saws are brilliant for this sort of job. Yeah, your dusk mask. Yeah, and once we've cut it all out, sandpaper and a sanding block. Now, I'm not going to shape the entirety of this because I only need to show you how to work with it rather than make a, a finished piece. Okay, so polystyrene from a previous video just so I can hold it up and you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, uh, let's see now, I need a quick pencil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roughly, yeah, draw a curve along there. Yeah, and I'm going to curve that off for a base. So, first things first, coping saw. Let me put my mask on. I'm not going to be talking while I do this. I might skip ahead as well. 
genuinely this stuff don't mess with your lungs yeah guys now I'm not sure how well you can hear me but obviously it's cutting through nice and easy it does work easier if you're literally over the edge of the surface so I'm going to spin this round just quickly oh that's good yeah just to get this cut through see that making loads of distance I bet that's vibrating the camera as well isn't it sorry about that guys right so that bit's cut mask up right and that's basically what you're left with cutting through a coping saw yeah, it's a pretty rough cut to be perfectly honest. And what I'm going to do is just quickly change the focus on that so you can actually see it as I bring it up closer. Yeah, dead easy to cut, no effort. I mean, you saw me do that just then. Right, the next job, steak knife. Yeah, and I'm going to do this towards the camera and away from my hand. Yeah, mask down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one long cut at that sort of angle. Yeah, do you see how that's coming off? Yeah, just give it a little bit of shave. Yeah, I can cut into it and shape it like that. I can cut into it and shape it like that. Yeah, nice and easy. Like I say, with the serrated edge and this stuff, it's no effort whatsoever. Just, you cut in, watch your fingers, yeah? Cut away from your fingers. So, right, mask up. Right, guys. I'm guessing, because I can't see it, I've got a bit... Oh, that's horrible. Right, give me another second. Right now, because I couldn't see it, I've still got a hell of a wedge. So, I'm going to just up a bit, so I can actually see where I'm doing it. Yeah, that's better. Uh, trim that a bit. Yeah, and then I'm going to go another slice just across the top to give it a camber. Yeah, so what I'm starting to do is I'm starting to make the shape of the edge. Yeah, so a bit of a better job there. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, okay. Next job, and this is a dusty job. Okay, it's sanding sanding block, sanding paper around it, yeah, mask on because this does get dusty guys, okay, when you're sanding this stuff, if you go in circular motions, it will take the bulk of, the bulk of it away, if you go in long straight motions, it will smooth it out. So if you've got a particular like ridge or a bobble on it, a couple of quick circles and that will disappear. Okay? If you've got, you know, if you're just looking to smooth the edge off and get it ready for what you call it, the texturing, yeah, all you need to do is this. Nice and long. Okay? Now as a final touch. Yeah, and I'll lift my mask up for this just for a second. Right, so there we have a nice smooth edge, and it really is a nice beveled edge, okay? And what I tend to do is also, I quickly flip it over, and while I've got me sand, and I'm going to do this without me mask, naughty me, yeah, because I'm doing it nice and gentle, yeah, it's just from the other side. Just give it a quick smooth over. Yeah, just so you've got a nice clean edge on the bottom. Okay, and there we have a nice beveled edge now this stuff isn't going to be isn't going to warp yeah it's pretty sturdy it's you know it's going to stand up to the hammers of war gaming it really is yeah now obviously that was a real quick job yeah but you get the principles yeah spend the next five minutes on it you'll have great bases notice that what you got the paper where i've been sanding it just smooths off and remember you're going to be putting pva and grit and stuff over this anyway and painting it so it's not an issue and there you have it guys, that's how you can simply use cake bases from your local supermarket
with the most basic of tools and just so you can see yeah the knife will cut through it you don't need a coping saw okay but if you've got one you get the job done a lot quicker just remember yeah remember the mask guys okay because this stuff really isn't good for you okay and that's it that's making gotcha clip bases out of cake bases go down the supermarket get yourself a steak knife sandpaper a mask and get and a steak and watch out and, and obviously some watch clip cake bases give it a go just a word of warning don't go any thicker than don't go any thick thinner than roughly about a centimeter because that stuff does tend to warp yeah this stuff you find it in all the supermarkets you'll have no problems it comes in a variety of shapes and sizes ah easy to store you can even hide it in the kitchen and the wife doesn't even know you've got basic materials hidden in her cupboards she thinks you've got a baking habit right guys i'm gonna bring it up <laughs> all right then <laughs> i'll take that off okay guys that's it hope you like it if you do leave me a like so i know i'm on the right comment on the right track otherwise yeah drop me a line in the comments and remember if you want to chat or anything grab me on facebook that it's the terrain tutor on twitter facebook everywhere you know what i mean grab me around there hope you like it guys ta -ra!